Installing PF Diagnose. Insert the CD into the CD player, or if you have downloaded the software, open the folder that you saved the software to. In this case, we saved it to My Documents. This is the download. It is a zipped file and compressed. You can tell by the zipper in the folder icon. Right click on the file and select Extract All. Simply select Next until you get to the Finish and select Finish. This will open, create a folder and open. At this point select Setup. You may get an unknown publisher, just select Run. The first step is to install the Visual C++ Runtime Libraries. Select Install. Once the VC++ Visual C libraries have been installed, the Welcome to PF Diagnose wizard will come up. Simply select Next. Read the User End License Agreement. If you agree, select I Agree, and then select Next. Do not change this folder location. Select Everyone and Next. The installer is now ready. Select Next. PF Diagnosis now being installed onto this PC. When completed, select Close. You should now have an icon that resembles a red tractor with PF Diagnose. Start PF Diagnose. You will get a warning that's invalid license. PF Diagnose will load and automatically take you into the registration screen. Carefully note the machine ID if you have email installed, such as Outlook or, or Outlook Express, on this PC, you may select the Send Now. If you do not have email installed on this PC, for example, if you're using web-based email, do not select Send Now. In this case, you will select Cancel, then Exit PF Diagnose. Go to your web browser, open your mail software, your email software, sign into your email, compose a new message, to PF support at Rogers. Dot com. Subject registration. In the context of the message, enter your machine ID. B9. And then under attachments, select attachments. It should bring up the file browser. Select My Documents. Look for the Diagnostics folder. Open the Diagnostics folder and locate the user key. This is the file that is required to generate your license. Select the text file, User Key, and select Open. 
this will attach the file to the email see here user key is attached now send the request email sent now wait for a response from PF support 